in regards to politicians in this country and I'm here today when I don't go out and protest because of my PTSD you can imagine who I'm talking about
the total value of expendable ordnance for that operation was a hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars to take out a hundred thousand dollars. And watching and coordinating an, an event like this made me realize that the war was about the military industrial complex and money primarily. serve a career of sacrifice. That's why we say embrace the sun. We move a lot. For me personally, I moved 11 times in 17 years. Missing birthdays, anniversaries, deaths due to deployments, tasks, and training. It is the noble service of sacrifice. Veterans have a voice. We've seen it all and done a lot of it. Our voices need to be heard and we need to be supported in our transition to civilian life so that we can function in that new world as a civilian. The government spends a lot of money. In my situation, for my occupation, about six million dollars to program me to kill. They spend nothing to pre-deprogram us for civilian life. In my opinion, this will continue to go on no matter which government is in power until the sacred obligation is enshrined in legislation as a government to keep care of members that serve. Please spread the word. We need to do this as veterans and civilians alike. We need to be united behind this cause. There are many other veterans issues, tons, but this one is a start because it sends the sign of respect, dignity, and responsibility. So, what can you do? It's very simple. Take some time. Thank a veteran for their service. Let them know you care by taking this time to seek to understand what it is like for them with compassion and empathy, not sympathy. We are not victims. We serve proudly and we did it because we wanted to. In closing, I would like to remind you that Justin Trudeau dropped the writ for the 2019 federal election on the anniversary of September 11th. I heard the message that he was sending with this and following on actions loud and clear. So let me please remind you and veterans, civilians and veterans alike, Veterans are not sacred cows. If under the current legislative regimes, the government wants to snap its fingers and cut us off, they likely would do so, no matter who they are. Veterans are asking too much. No! So thank you very much, fellow Canadian patriots. Thank God, and thank God for Canada. Chris Semchuk, out. Hello everyone, my name is James, and I'm being held hostage in my own country. My human rights have been violated, and I want to be set free! Yeah! Free! Yeah! Fuck the government! Yeah! Fuck them! Opportunity not, I guess. Give another upper, uh, round of applause for Chris Semchuk, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! And I, 
I just want to see how effective these speakers are. If you can hear us back there, we want to hear you screaming. Okay. I just want to see how far it's going. And as a reminder, guys, behind us, uh, keep the road clear. Thank you. They're going to bring some barricades. But uh, we got a lot more speakers to go through. Very excited. Uh, man, another moving speech by Chris Semchuk, guys. Give it up for our veterans once again. Come on. I, uh, I made the mistake of getting into politics, and, and guess what? A lot, of, a lot of people were totally fine calling me a Nazi. Even though my grandfather fought against real Nazis. What do you know? And you might know of a group that likes to throw these labels around, and they like to completely try to demoralize who we are, and sometimes they, they run around acting like they're against fascism. Our next speaker, our next speaker is an independent journalist, somebody who has, as we all have, we've sat and done some research and looked at what's really going on, okay? But to tell us more about his journey as a patriot and as an independent journalist, I introduce Rick Bonker. First off, um, I didn't prepare anything. And the reason for that is because I've been busy taking phone calls. Like 100 a day at least from everybody that I see here today. <laughs> <laughs>